Ryan. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you dare to serve the one you love. And every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 58, NASDAQ up 125, SP's up 10 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $14.70, trading at 1974 an ounce. Whoops, move over here. What did you just do to me? Silver, silver's down 56 cents, $22.65 an ounce. Light sweet crew taking a hit, down $3.44. $77.37 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, trading up 15 ticks at 108.02. 30-year up a point and a half at 113.27 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading, where are you? Oh, man, look at this. Okay, wonder why this moves around. There we go. King Dollar is trading up 375 ticks at 105.590. Euros at 106. Yen is trading at 150. And the British pounds at 122 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, there's no doubt we're getting long in the tooth on this deal. I mean, you're up seven, eight days in a row. But guess what? It's all about interest rate structure and the dollar. So we have out here today, yeah, you're up a buck. You know, bottom line is that you've got inside the higher range now, inside the SPY, you know? So that just says, hey, higher prices are coming at us, man. You're at 436. We'll see how this next stop is. Now, the swing points are all laid out at this 438 area. So, you know, you're going to get some flack in here. There's no doubt about it. And we'll see where it shakes out. We're only a Tuesday into the week. So it says plenty of time to blow by that because the, the, at the 436, right, where we are right now, the 438, that's the flack. We'll see how we can, we can make it through that area. And the X100, we go into the Qs, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs always been stronger than the SPY, you know, on, the, on this rally, no doubt about that. And what you have out here today is a monster move by the Qs, and it has volume behind the move. We've already done 37 million shares, okay? So this baby just went into its swing, which was the uh, 373.24. We hit 373.50, and we're going to have more vol volume. Uh, yeah, we are. We're already at 37, so that's going to take the swing point out with volume. That puts game in, man, uh, all the way up to this 387. So this is, this is a powerful move by the NQs. So let's just go look inside the NDX and see what's moving this baby. Ah, I see what's going on. Datadog tw up 27%. That, that'll do it. Uh, then you got uh, a global found... Foundries, Global Foundries up 5%. You get Zscaler up 4.5%. Adobe's up 3.3%. Those are big numbers, man. Those are big numbers, and that's just pushing it in there. Notes and bonds. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. Continue to want higher price, lower yield. We take a look at this. You're going to see you're doing 1.6 million contracts here. Um, you know, bottom line is that this wants to jump over the level here, which we did uh, that last Friday, which is the 108.16, we're at 108.02. Now, the way this is set up is to run all the way up to this 114 area. And right now, you're only at 108.02. We go into the dollar, we take a look at, well, actually, let's go to gold, because gold, you know, gold's down today, but the bottom line is that that there we go. That um, rejected lower price at a much lower price, with, with lighter volume, by the way. So if we take a look at the gold market out here, you're going to see we traded down to the 1962 area. You rejected lower price. You got 197,000 contracts. Well, that 197 is running. There we go. That 197 is running against uh, 270,000 contracts. You know, so that's what you like to see on pullbacks. That's the real bottom line. 
and then good old King Dollar. So if we take a look at King Dollar, what King Dollar has done, and now this is a classic technical setup. You know, you came down, watch this, this is so cool, it's insane actually. So we'll see how it shakes out, but bottom line is you came down, you broke the trend line, the uptrend with conviction, then you build cause, and you go sideways building cause. Then you break down for consolidation. Now what we're doing today, we're trying to get back inside the range. You know, it is inside the higher range right now. Uh, we're at 105, 587. 105, 559 is the number. Now, we'll see whether we hold that coming into the close, because that's just going to be uh, intriguing. Because when we opened today, we opened, when we opened, that's when the S&Ps were down. The dollar was up uh, in, in the, you know, 500 tick area. You're at 365. It's making its way up here again, so it's going to be intriguing to see how this shakes out. What we've just done here, it looks to me, let's see what kind of retracement we just did. From the high to the low, we just did just over 0.382. So that doesn't tell us too much. That's a, that's a weak retracement, in, even intraday. But there will be movement in the dollar in the next hour, which is going to affect the bottom line of the market because um, it's, it's been tit for tat, no doubt about it, okay? Dollar lower, market higher. Dollar is up, dollar gives it up, market goes higher. Dollar's down, it goes up, market goes lower. I mean, the, the correlation has been pretty tight for some time right now. And it has to do with this interest rate, interest rate differential, because the bottom line is that if the interest rates are going down, it just makes sense that your currency is going to go down also. So we'll see how the whole thing uh, shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have uh, Tesla's up two bucks. You got Datadog's the big number. Um, you got, uh, let's see. What else is moving? NVIDIA, that's only up a buck. Datadog's the number. That's up $22.5. That, that is one monster move. Actually, let's go look at this for a second. See what we got here. So you're trading 102. Look at, oh, look at that move. It's just filling the gap. Oh, man, what a trip that is. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. Normally, we have Basil on. They're swapping positions right now because our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing a workshop at 4. So I have Tim coming up right now, and I have Basil coming up at 3.30. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm.